one of the only 17-year-olds still at the orphanage. I only had one friend, and his name was Jeffrey, but most people just called him imaginary. Sam, have you finished making your bed yet? I already did, as per usual. Aw, you're such a good boy, Sam. Well, I wouldn't be so good if it wasn't for Jeffrey. He's good, too, wouldn't you say? <clears throat> yes. He'd like to hear it from you. You know, Sam, I thought today maybe you could meet a new real friend. Would you like a new bunkmate? Nope, yeah, thanks for asking. Bye. Well, we've cut the food budget and housing's next, so Damien, meet Sam. <laughs> We're the devil. I can't wait to be friends with you every night. Well, tough luck. I already got a friend. His name is Jeff. Ah! Jeffrey! Oh my god! You're not even using a napkin! No, I'll leave you two again. Hey, Jeffrey, you know what you're gonna live here? Bring the noise, you bring the funk. Donna adopted Sam.
homosexual gay man decorated it. Close the door. Okay, all right. What's going on, Mama? In this house, you call me Donna. Donna, Mama. Got a good ring to it. Just Donna. Okay, I... Now empty your pockets, you petty thief. Oh, please, I haven't been here five seconds. I haven't touched nothing. Left butt cheek. Well, it was a collector's item. You know, I can't pass that up. I'm troubled. From now on, you're going to wear these britches. Let's see you hide something in those. Oh, who would wear something like this? And they're soiled. Well, congratulations. You've got an adventure in laundry waiting for you, kid. Looks like it's going to be another montage. I'm sorry. She broke me down hard and undid all of Damien's bad teaching. That's not how you do that, but all right. Thanks for making dinner, Mom. I told you, don't call me Mom. Look, if you didn't want a son, why did you adopt me? Because having a slave is illegal. Besides, I already had a son once. What was he like? He was beautiful. Just seeing his blonde little head in the morning sun was all I needed to start my day. Sounds like a great kid. <laughs> Nobody sticks around forever, Sam. Turns out, losing the only thing you love can really screw you up inside. I suddenly understood why she was so bitter. She spent the majority of her life alone and angry at the world. I knew if I could be a fun son, just maybe I could bring her back. So we started doing fun things. Dance parties, I gave her more guns. We even went to the pool and uh -oh, something bad's about to happen. Hey you, asshole! Oh! I hope you got adopted! I'm 18 now. They kicked me out. Well I'm still not taking you. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. No, don't, don't you touch her! Hey, we made a pact! Everywhere you go, I go. Remember? And now I'm trapped in the real world, expecting you to use toilet paper like a normal fucking person! I thought you said slurring with the devil's orgasm. Who the fuck are you? I, I, I'm Sam. Well, who the fuck am I? Well, you're my... Look, look, right here. See, that's me. And this is you. I don't know who either of these assholes are. Oh, right. Back home, but her whole brain was wiped. Can you tell me anything about yourself? I tried jogging her memory all the which ways I could till I gave it one last shot. Just seeing his blonde little head in the morning sun was all I needed to start my day. Oh. She still didn't remember who she was, but... Something about this blonde hair do you made her smile. Who, who the fuck you said your name was? Not Sam. Oh shit, you're not my roommate, are you? Sure, you can say that. Oh, nice to officially meet you, Sam. I'm Donna. I know. Looks like some gay man decorated it. Yeah. Finally, we can agree on something. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good.